Hey, this is a Trendy Socialite and I hope all is well with you. I wanted to come and do this video as quickly as I possibly can. And it was based on a conversation I had with a friend of mine recently. Um, we spent some time together when I was down in Atlanta at the World Natural Hair Show. And um, she's married. I'm single. And so we just sort of talked about the dynamics of um, women married women remaining friends with single women. Um, not, you know, specifically in those terms, but that was just kind of the nature of the, the conversation, the overall um, topic. And, uh, and we've talked about this before, she and I have, um, because I feel very, very strongly about that. And um, I feel that it, it is possible to maintain a friendship um, as a married woman and a single woman, um, a lot of times single women uh, get a bum rap from husbands and men and you know other uh, women about, girl, you need to you know ditch your single girlfriends once you get married. And honestly, a huge part of that is because as single women, we don't make great friends once our friends get married we sometimes just don't so I wanted to share with you my thoughts um, on that and to encourage um, women men that you know a single ladies can still be friends we can still be appropriate we can still be um, integral parts of you know your lives and we don't have to have a spouse or a mate in order to do that but I'm also going to give the women, single women, some advice on how to to be an appropriate friend to a married woman. Okay, so the first thing is, um, years ago, several years ago, I was reading something online, a blog or an article or something, and it was written by maybe a marriage therapist or a couple or something like that, and it was talking about having friends to your marriage. And honest to God ever since I read it that has been sort of my my mantra my my goal when as I have friends that are getting in relationships that are you know getting serious getting engaged and getting married is that as long as I can and as long as um, it's possible I want to regardless of my personal relationship status I want to be a friend to my friends marriage because I care about them I love them they are important to me so I want to be sure that as I was a friend to them in their single state that I'm a friend to their marriage in their marital state and I think um, once I sort of adopted that approach that really helped me um, understand and navigate um, through the friendship waters if you will as my friends have started to get married and have children and those sorts of things and even you know my family as well and the first thing that I would recommend and suggest to single women as your friends are starting to get engaged and married the first thing you have to re recognize is that your relationship will change you just need to go ahead and accept that it's gonna change um, and it's funny because I sort of had um, and it's not so much the case now I sort of had um, you know like kind of my married booed up friends that I went to lunch and to dinner and to movies and to shopping and things like that with then I had you know kind of a set of friends that were single and then that's that's who I would go out with like if I went to an event or a party or something like that then I went out with my other single friends so I would suggest you may have to have two sets of friends you may have to have um, your married friends that you do uh, more house related domestic type things with if that makes sense um, and then your single friends that you may go out with and do things of that nature with. So that's the first thing. You really have to understand that the dynamics and your relationship will change. But that's okay. That's a part of life. Um, I think where people uh, fall apart and um, become estranged in their um, yeah estranged in their friendships is when one or the other parties doesn't make that adjustment. 
and usually it's the single women they still expect for their friends to go out and stay until two three o'clock in the morning or go out every weekend and stuff like that it's just that's just not going to happen you have to understand that as a married woman your friends priorities have and will and should change if they don't change <laughs> that's something for you to be wary of um, <clears throat> but they absolutely should and usually they do change um, so internally you need to kind of deal with that you need to understand that you know I'm not going to be able to this was my going out buddy for so long but I'm not going to be able to go out with her in that way but I can still spend time with her in different settings you may have to get used to going over to her house on a Saturday evening especially if she has kids and that kind of thing if you want to sit down and talk to her um, she's not going to always be able to you know just jump and go out at the drop of a hat she's she is going to have to check with someone um, you know to make sure that they as a couple don't have plans so you have to make all of those adjustments and realize internally that your relationship will change that doesn't mean that your um, married friend loves you any less just means that they have to love you differently at this point in their life um, the second thing I'm, I'm already kind of talking about that is just um, letting your friend know not necessarily verbally but just through your actions that you understand and it's okay and make it easy for her to be friends with you um, you know when with my married friends you know I say okay what are you doing next weekend or when is a good time for you to get together my schedule generally sometimes is a little bit more flexible so I can make arrangements um, and shuffle things around and especially since I don't have children and I'm not married um, you know I can shuffle some things around so I do kind of put it on them and say you tell me when you're available um, you know like for my friend that lives in Atlanta you know I said I'm coming you know this weekend are you available anytime this is when I'm coming this is when I'm leaving let me know and we'll we'll kind of work around it and we were able to do that um, so you just you, you kind of have to shift just a little bit in terms of you know in advance notice and making plans you can't be but so spontaneous with friends that are in relationships and that are married and that ultimately you know or have children because uh, that's just that's just hard for them to manage um, and so you put unnecessary strain when you expect for them to manage things like that um, also I you really have to check yourself and your insecurities and make sure that they don't lead to jealousy and that's you know somewhat easy to do especially you know it seems everything is going great and they're all in love and you know every time they go from one room to the next they're kissing each other and they holding hands while they're going to the bathroom like yeah I understand and especially if you're in between relationships or if you've been single for a while that can be a lot um, emotionally to witness so you have to you know do a, a couple of things one is in my opinion just pray just pray for God to give you you know that peace um, that passes all understanding even when you're lonely and when you want companionship um, and then you also have to be sure that you maybe at sometimes you don't overexpose yourself to that if you're at a excuse me a particular point in time in your life and you're you're feeling really vulnerable and sensitive to that kind of stuff then that's that may be not a good time for you to be around your friend as much um, and you know and you can just say girl I'm just going through some things right now I'm fine you know we'll get up you know next weekend or in a couple of weeks or something like that no biggie it's all good um, but just be sure that you don't let these insecurities in any of these feelings of um, aloneness I won't say loneliness because people will think that that has a bad connotation um, but we all get lonely even married people get lonely okay um, so just make sure that that doesn't um, escalate into feelings of jealousy and envy because that's where it can create problems in your friendship and you don't want to do that um, I'm not gonna lie and say that there haven't been points and times where I haven't been jealous. E, <laughs> I'm, 
it well I was just jealous I, I have to be honest of you know my friends being in relationships my friends and family getting married and things like that but that internal check happened really quickly and I just realized that I shouldn't you know they're my friend I care about them I love them at the same time I I, I aspire and I desire what they have in terms of a relationship and companionship um, I'm also happy that they have that in their life because I know my friends are amazing okay my friends are amazing and I am so happy that they found someone to make them happier than they already were so I have to you know and and nine and a half times out of ten my feelings of pride and happiness for them far outweigh any feelings of oh man you know I don't have nobody oh lord we and lord we and we and lord far outweighs all of that um and can I also just say just because people are married does not mean that they are going to be a friend to your marriage because I'm gonna tell you what some of the meanest most cynical and loneliest people I know have a ring on their finger I'm just saying um, they are always glass half empty when it comes to marriage and all of that kind of stuff so I'm just saying that to say that don't negate the friendship for married women don't negate the friendship of your single girlfriends as you transition and become a married woman you really have to um, try them try the spirit by the spirit you have to see how, I mean, if they are really, truly your friend, that's going to transcend marital status, children coming in and out of life, distance, all of that kind of stuff. My girlfriend and I in Atlanta, we see each other, you know, once, maybe twice a year. We talk maybe three or four times a year. But honest to God, it is like we pick right up where we left off. Like, no time has elapsed. We are just talking like, I mean, we literally have to look up like time just flies because we're just talking and enjoying each other and that is rare and that is special and I refuse to let any feelings that I may have any insecurities that I may have jeopardize someone that I consider a really really good friend um, so yeah this video will probably get some hits and some dissension and but it'll maybe start some good dialogue as well so I'm really interested to hear what you have to say about this so feel free to leave your comments below take care and be blessed bye